All right, with the launch of Call of Duty Black Ops 6, I've noticed that my my frames aren't really... I'm not getting high frame rate. Um, even with DLSS or Fidelity or FSR, uh, if you haven't seen that video, go, go check out that video. I did a comparison in the benchmarks in Call of Duty. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of my drivers and act like I, I don't have nothing in here. And I'm going to show in this video the best way of doing that to get a fresh, clean copy. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete the game and, and um, re reinstall the game and have a complete fresh copy. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So let's get to it. Okay, so your first step before we go into the next steps is go to NVIDIA and go ahead and download your drivers. So this is the newest one, which is 566.03. It was released on October 22nd, 2024. Uh, if you run in studio, I don't recommend studio unless you need studio. Don't even play around with it because you're going to be doing this again. And then you're going to hit view and then you're going to hit download. So now that this is done, we're going to get to the next step. You can come into Rufus and you can delete all your uh, NVIDIA drivers, no matter what they are. Uh, and have Rufus take it completely out. But I want to make sure everything 100% is out. So uh, Rufus, I talk about a lot on this channel, but you can come in here and then you can search right here. I'm going to look for Call of Duty. So this is what I want right here. It's 313 gigs. And I actually, I'm going to uninstall this. This is one of the things I'm doing. I don't need to make a restore point. And then we're going to go ahead and uninstall it. So once it's done uninstalling, you hit scan. And it's going to scan for any leftover files and kernels. Look at all this right here that it was found in. So I'm going to select all, and I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And then here's all the folders that it was in. I'm going to go ahead and select that, and I'm going to delete that as well. And when I restart the system, I'll go ahead and, and reinstall uh, Call of Duty after I install my drivers. I want my drivers on first. So... Really and truly, this next step that I'm fixing to show going through the drivers is what you really, really need to do uh, every time there's a new driver update. Don't be hitting that express. You just have to remember some of your settings in your global settings in NVIDIA. Okay, so this next program is called DDU. Uh, it's one of the best programs out there. Again, you can use Rufus and delete, you know, get everything out of there. But I really do like uh, DDU. So when you come in here, you open it up. You can remove the presence of non-existing monitors, which is recommended. The save logs, uh, it's going to delete anything that's in the save logs. We want that out of here that way. It's not reading nothing from the old drivers. Create a resource point if allowed. And me personally, I don't do resource points. Uh, and besides when I first do my Windows, I will. Uh, I'm actually going to take that one off for me. Automatically check DDU updates uh, at startup. Uh, run Vulcan runtime show. Um, offers from partners. No, I don't care about the offers. Uh Remember, last selected GPU. If you're not upgrading and you're going to have your GPU for a while, then, of course, you want to remember that. All right, we're going to remove everything. I want everything from NVIDIA removed. Now, if you don't want to go through it and redo your 3D settings in your global, you can keep it right here. I suggest not to do that. That's just me, but I'm removing everything. Uh, and then, of course... Anything, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this, check it. Even though I do not have AMD in here, I'm going to go ahead and check it. Same thing for Intel. Um, you can go to advanced mode, which, you know, use at your own risk. Enable safe mode. Prevent downloads from drivers. All right. So now we're going to close. Uh, DDUs has detected that you are not in safe mode. For a better cleanup uh, without issues, it is recommended to reboot into safe mode. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. I don't think I'm going to be able to record in safe mode. Uh, but what you do is you hold your shift key down on your keyboard and then restart. So like right now, if I went right here to hit restart, I'm going to push the shift key before I tap this restart button. You hold it until it completely uh, restarts and then it'll automatically go into um, your Windows Advance to go into safe mode uh, for your options for troubleshooting and everything so you can get there. So once you're in there, you're going to select what you are. We're going to do GPU and we're going to do NVIDIA. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to do it in safe mode. I'm just showing you how to do it. So once you're in safe mode, so you're going to clean and restart. This is highly recommended. You can clean and do not restart, clean and shut down. So this is for installing a new graphics card. I don't care if it's a new graphics card or what. Go ahead and do this. Also, remember, I'm going to also... Uh, disable my network. I do not want my network going while I'm doing this because if I restart the computer, once I take all this out, 
then what's going to happen is Windows updates are going to kick in and download it for me. All right, so now that you have it all installed, I have the Call of Duty downloaded in the background. You're going to come into your NVIDIA control panel. And if you don't know actually how to do that, you right click with your mouse, you hit show more and you hit uh, NVIDIA control panel. So in here, you can adjust your 3D settings. You can go follow other people's. I'm on a 4090. I find a lot of mine being stock is just as good. I don't have no, no problems with it. Um, make sure you come into your rev resolution though. Okay. And I have two, two 4k monitors here and I'm going to do this for both monitors. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm using Nvidia and I want to bring everything to the highest that it can be, which is 10 bit. I'm going to just go ahead and hit apply. Let the screen flash, do what it needs to do. And same thing with the LG, my other one. This one here, I can go to 12-bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Next is you want to go to get that punchy, punchy. I'm talking about that best-looking screen that you can get. And this right here will literally change. You can go get you a brand-new monitor and say, oh, my God, this thing's crap. Come into NVIDIA Control Panel first, and you want to adjust your contrast. Bump that bad boy all the way up. And then you can mess with your brightness. You know, I don't know if y'all can see it in the monitor or not. Mine is roughly about 55, but this right here is what makes your game pop. Bring your uh, vibrance up. I bring mine up to about 90 is where I keep mine. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my LG. I'm going to turn the brightness up this a little bit. And then my vibrance again, roughly 85, 90. Uh, if it's too vibrant, you can bring it down just a little bit. But I'm going to say right now, this right here will change the way your system is. Uh, but anyways, go ahead and give this video a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed, hit that bell icon to get other tech tips. Uh, I do honest, if, man, if you like honest reviews and you don't want these people that are just being sent products to give, to give a review for these companies, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I bring honest reviews. I'm Thomas of Tomology. I'll catch you in the next one.